ladies and gentlemen, in this RedGamingTech.com video, I'm going to be talking about Intel's new Haswell processors. So, we've been known that they've been on the horizon for a while now, and now, of course, we've got a few demonstrations of them. And we know for a fact that they're going to be using significantly less power than even the Ivory Bridge, which, as you know, requires a lot less than Sandy Bridge. Um, apparently, the Haswell is going to be using less than half the power of uh, the Ivory Bridge-based systems, which is very impressive. This, of course, makes it absolutely perfect for laptops and other small form factors because obviously power there is an issue and indeed Intel are going to be targeting Haswell to have a power envelope of around 10 watts. Uh, these are going to be available in uh, 2013 for the lower power models anywho. So that's pretty impressive actually um, to say the least. With this also the graphic processing power is going to improve so for those of you who once are going to be using laptops or maybe just cheap gaming systems or you know discrete pcs and you just want you know to game occasionally in the background this is going to be perfect for you as the graphics power is definitely going to be improving it's certainly got going to be taking place of the mid-range graphics cards out there so even if you have something along the lines of say a nvidia gtx 460 you're probably better served with that but other than that, if you're just building a cheap system or, you know, you're just looking for something uh, intermediate or even uh, laptops is going to be great for that. You'll no doubt be able to play games like World of Warcraft and other online games fairly easily, even if not at the greatest settings and the highest resolution. But let's face it, we're not really targeting that. And Intel, should I say, are not really targeting that with the, with the Haswell. They're more, you know, just providing the service. It's also, of course, going to be great for offices and other 3D rendering uh, where it's not necessary that it, uh, it's going to require it on the card. So it's, it's, it's definitely an improvement. This, of course, is also going to be very interesting for, say, tablet PCs as well um, and small laptops because that means that things such as the iPad are going to have a little bit of competition. Obviously, they're not going to be a replacement or anything like that, but it will give system manufacturers and builders quite the option. Um, it's actually been doing really well with uh, the Uni Engine, so the benchmark has definitely improved significantly over the previous iterations of Intel's processors. This is going to be one of those things where I have a feeling that if you've got, say, uh, 2500K or 2600K, you might not necessarily want to upgrade for the CPU power initially. Um, who, who knows though, it depends on the overclockability. As you know, some of the Ivory Bridge models have not been particularly great for overclocking, mostly due to the smaller die uh, sizes. So they haven't typically been able to hit the same headrooms as the Sandy Bridge um, iterations, obviously depending upon the models. Uh, I'm talking about the K versions, obviously unlocked. This is less of a problem of course in terms of straight performance as obviously Ivor Bridge does have you know a slight performance lead clock for clock but for those of you who, and my indeed myself who are using Sandy Bridge models it was not enough for me to think hey you know what uh, I'm going to be going with Ivor Bridge now I just kept with a Sandy Bridge model simply because of this so I don't necessarily know if um, if um, we're going to be seeing Haswell as a replacement for the Ivory Bridge, in, at least initially. But obviously it depends exactly what models Intel are going to be putting out. Um, and obviously there's probably going to be more cores coming out later on as well. Um, obviously things are really hotting up, um, simply because at the moment uh, Intel and other manufacturers are kind of feeling the heat due to lower than predicted sales on hardware. This has not even been helped by Windows 8 because obviously Windows 8 is kind of getting a bit of a lukewarm reception at the moment for enthusiasts, which is another video entirely, and that's another topic entirely. Um, and with that alone, it basically, uh, well, hard manuf hardware manufacturers, I'm sorry, have not been particularly noticing a massive ramp up in production, or should I say sales. Indeed, that's one of the reasons that many people are believing that AMD are going to be cutting the prices of a few of its pieces of uh, hardware. And indeed, even uh, NVIDIA, of course, with the GTX uh, 660s. So anyway... This is just a quick video just kind of to let you guys know about things. So hopefully you're going to have found the video a bit helpful and I will see you guys soon. Obviously if you can rate, subscribe and leave your comments below that would be very great. So bye.